What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another pod chat where I share with you all a few tips, tricks, and a little bit of behind the scenes that goes into podcasting. Now, if you are new here, welcome. I'm Chardonnay. I typically talk about podcasting, skincare, and a few things in between. Now, today's video, I am going to be doing a comparison video. It will be between the Blackout Blue Yeti microphone and the Snowball microphone. For those of you who have been watching my channel for some time now, you can see I have a little bit of a new setup. That's because I am currently updating my home office. I'm updating some of my equipment and tools and things of that nature for my podcast. And so things are looking a little different over here. And that also goes into the next thing I want to share with you all. Um, I did my unboxing video of this microphone. If you all watch my channel, you know I love doing unboxing videos. I love when I get new appliances, new gear. I just love, love, love sharing that with you all. This video is a little bit of a bittersweet video because I previously recorded this video. However, something happened with my camera where it was recording the display screen on the camera and I think the face tracking feature was on and for some reason it was recording that and I was going to upload that footage either way because my pie chats and the things on my channel I like to be super transparent about everything however I'm also very keen on quality and we're not putting that energy out here so I decided to re-record this video and I'll show you all a few clips so that way you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And luckily, I did hang on to the box. Uh, this is the box. I'll share with you all the packaging and stuff, of course, because I still have that. But you all won't be able to get my first impressions when I open it. But we'll still make this fun. So let's jump into the comparison video of the Blackout Blue Yeti microphone compared to the Blue Snowball microphone. Okay, so like I said, this is not a very first impressions video. Obviously, I've already opened up this microphone. And so the sound that you are currently listening to me from is my computer. I have the computer sitting directly in front of me. So right now, the audio is coming straight from the microphone from my laptop. And so later on, I'm going to do a mic check between these two microphones. But let's get into the details of the packaging of this box. So this is the box that it comes in and it is a nice quality box it reminds me kind of of um the apple boxes that you get when you get your laptop it comes super sturdy and this was well packaged i want to get into the design that they have on the box i love when companies are very keen on the details and the things that they choose to put on the packaging and I noticed with this one uh, because it's called the Yeti Blackout they actually have little different drawings of the different types of Yetis I thought that that was super cute and then they explain what the definition of an actual Yeti is they put one it's a legendary ape like creature who roams the Himalayas and then also they made up their own definition it's an incredibly versatile USB microphone found worldwide and so one thing I can say about this um, blue company I wonder if the creators have some type of fascination with snow or the winter time because like this microphone is called the snowball and then you have this Yeti who I'm guessing typically lives in colder climates. I don't really know. I'll have to look into it. If you happen to know the reasoning behind this and why this company choose to use these fun play on names, definitely let me know in the comment section below. But I thought that that was super cool that they have these fun little animations and things of that nature on this box. On the back, it has the different uh, pattern settings. It has the cardioid, omnidirectional, bidirectional, and stereo. And it basically tells you uh, what types of settings you would use each uh, pattern setting for. So you have the cardioid is mainly used for game streaming, Skype, Discord, podcasts, and voiceovers. And then you have omnidirectional, meaning that there are microphones placed in all four directions of this microphone. And so you would use this if you have conference calls, field recordings, or events. 
and then you have bi-directional meaning that it's just using the microphone in the front and the microphone in the back so that's usually good for if you are interviewing somebody and you all are sitting right across from each other it'll be able to easily pick up the sound from both ends and then you have stereo so this is good for a setting for vocals or ensemble choir or with instruments even show you a picture right here in the top of the tri-capsule array of microphones there's actually three microphones in here. Three microphones in here, but four different pattern selectors. Stereo, cardioid, omni, and bidirectional. So that is cool. Cool, cool, cool. And so when you get into it, um, This is what it will look like. This is just simple cardboard. But then you have the box came in this plastic. You just take it right off. And then it has a little clear sticker that had the box sealed. You open that up. And the microphone fits very nice and snug right in there. And when I initially opened it, I was like, this is so cute. This looks like a little sound booth specifically built for the microphone because it has all this like styrofoam in there to make sure that it safely gets to you. Now, one of the things that I really liked about this microphone when I first got it is this definitely has some weight to it compared to this microphone like it's very sturdy it's very heavy um not very heavy but it has a, a little bit of weight to it so um i was like i'm already feeling more professional like it has such a good sturdiness to it and so another thing that i like is this here you can loosen it and tighten it with the knobs that are here on the side you also have a mute button which i thought was good um sometimes i record podcasts on my computer and sometimes you can hear the little clicking sound on my mouse pad or on my mouse it'll pick up and i think that it's super convenient that the mute button is here and then also you have this volume control in the front because you can also plug in your headphones directly to this microphone and i'm going to give a close-up shot this is where you would insert the usb and this connects directly to your computer and then there's also a port for your headphones and like I said you can control the volume of your headphones from here and the port piece is right here and then also you have on the back of this microphone you have the gain and then also which pattern you want the microphone to pick up on so I feel like this microphone has a ton of bells and whistles which would explain why it is what twice the price of this actually almost three times the price of this this was $129 when I purchased it so this microphone right here was only $50 um, right off the back something that I will say that I like about it is that the USB this is the USB that comes with it I like how simple it is it's no software that you need to install order to use it you just plug and go it's very similar to like this microphone this microphone it didn't have any bells and whistles on it but when you're using it this light comes on and then when you are using this microphone if you want to mute it it flashes red so that way you know that it is on mute and this one it has no buttons um, one thing I did like about this microphone is Anytime if I was traveling to go meet someone in person, all I would have to do is just put the little arms down and then untwist it. And then this would come off and I would just toss this in my bag and go. But as you can see, it is starting to get a little beat up. Um, sometimes this little piece would just fall off in the middle of interviews. And so I was like, yeah, it is time it is time to get some new gear but you can easily just you know push it back in there 
um, but this did not always fall off so I don't want you to think this is how it is when I first got it this bad boy has been through some things with me it has been some places with me so that's why this has fallen off um, but I liked it for its convenience and this is a very great starter mic so that is my thoughts initially comparing these mics and I am going to do a little bit of a sound check so that way you can hear the difference of the microphones. Something else that I noticed when putting both of these microphones side by side is I noticed that when I'm talking I have a tendency to want to be all up on the mic. When you don't need to do that you can just sit comfortably and have the mic sit, sitting directly in front of you and with this one it's a little bit more taller I feel like it is more aligned with where my mouth is opposed to this one I feel like I was crouching over or sometimes wanting to grab the mic and pull it super close to me and this I feel like I can avoid all of that and it also has a strong base so that way I can adjust it as needed um, the other thing that I thought of, this is just going to keep falling off. Let's just move this to the side until I can finish talking through the specs of things. This particular microphone, one thing that I thought about because all of the headphones are going Bluetooth now. So when I seen this little plug, I was like, oh. Usually the only headphones I have are the headphones that come with my iPhone. So I was like, where am I going to find some headphones that has this headphone jack? That's the only thing that I wish was different about this. I wish that it had Bluetooth capability so that way it can just pair and connect to my headphones that are Bluetooth. Now I have to make an additional purchase to get some headphones that can plug into this microphone. So that way I can hear myself as I am talking and speaking directly into this microphone. If you all seen my vlog or the last pod chat that I did where I was in the studio, um, it makes such a difference when you have the headphones and you can actually hear in real time how you sound. It definitely affects the quality. So that's something to consider if you are somebody who is very into acoustics. Um, last week I was in a podcasters meetup and Usually I like to use that group to kind of bounce ideas off of them, ask them how things sound, and I'm going to get deeper into um, just the sound quality and comparing the sounds of microphones and your setup and things of that nature. Um, so if you like these types of videos, definitely give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to this channel so that way you can be updated when I release any of these types of videos in the future. But hang tight, I'm not done. I still want to give you all a sound check and let you all hear the difference in sound on these microphones. As I mentioned earlier, you're currently hearing me through the sound from my laptop. My laptop is sitting directly in front of me. And now I'm going to do a very quick sound check. <clears throat> Use these vocals over here to give you all um, a comparison if you are trying to figure out which microphone to go with. <clears throat> Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Your girl is trying to get a clue and figure out which blue mic I should use. Okay, let me stop. I don't really know how to rap. I'm just trying to give you all some type of sound to go off of to get an idea of what each of these microphones sound like. So hang tight. I'm going to plug in the other microphone. All right, so the other microphone is plugged in. As you all can see, it's lower. I'm Feeling the need to grab it and pull it closer, but I'm not. All right, so here it is. Mic check two. <clears throat> mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Your girl is trying to get a clue and figure out which blue mic I should use. All right. I should have worked on the rap part, but you all get the gist. These are the sound checks. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. All right, you all. So hopefully this video is helpful as you figure out which microphone to go with. Um, I always say this, start with what you have. Uh, you may not want to go with this microphone or this microphone, or maybe you want to use your headphones, something that you already have. Um, but for me, like I was on a podcast meetup and I was recording using the audios 
straight from my laptop or one of these microphones and I was trying to get some feedback on how it sounds and some people that are very keen on acoustics and things of that nature sometimes they can hear the fact that I have a window open or I also have a puppy sometimes you might hear her prancing around here and I also have um I have very like it's a tall space where I'm recording like I have a studio and from the floor to the ceilings it has a lot of depth and you can really hear that there's like nothing compact in this space so that way my sound just sounds like it's in one space like you can kind of hear the reverb or a little bit of echo and the ambiance when I am recording on this microphone or if I'm just using the sound from my laptop if you're keen on sound and acoustics you know what I'm talking about if you're not into all of that then it's like hey whatever use what you have but hopefully this video is helpful like i said earlier i love doing unboxings i love sharing with you all the things when i get it i get super excited about this type of stuff and so if there's something that you want me to review here on my channel or something you would like to see definitely let me know in the comment section below and something i'm super excited to share with you all is my work from home setup i think i'm going to call it my desk tour um but i just want to show you all even more behind the scenes of how everything is set up right now everything is in close proximity to me but i think it's also helpful to see how other people have their workflow or their workstation to give you some ideas if you are trying to figure out how you want to set stuff up for yourself and what will work best for your workflow so yeah thanks for tuning in until next time bye